This is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing our weight loss vlog. So, guys, I think this is going to be a game changer for weight loss medications. And this was published in JAMA, uh, and it is called the Step 3 Trial. I'm going to share this with you, and I think this is, will be a really amazing option uh, for people who need that extra help trying to get their weight down. So I'm going to share this study with you and go over it. Um, but before I do that, I, first of all, if you get a chance, please definitely share these videos with people who you think um, may be able to help. The only reason I do this is really I'm trying to help more people because there are not a lot of uh, healthcare physicians or providers that tend to treat weight loss really ag uh, aggressively. And I recently got my board certification in obesity medicine. So that's what I've been doing for the past couple of months. And um, I, if I would love it, if you would just share this with people who you also think would find helpful. Um, I am really trying to get these messages out there. So um, I saw something on social media and it's very discouraging to see these kind of like this infighting or arguing between people about um, some of the strategies because there's so much there uh, to weight loss. There is just, there's the behavioral things, there's the depression, there's the stress, there's the environment, um, there are medical limitations, there are medicines that people get put on. And if you go back, I've done videos on so many aspects of this. But I saw somebody post on social media something about complaining about some provider or physician who told them that they should just eat less and move more, and that's a horrible thing. And that that shouldn't be we shouldn't be telling that to people. And the problem is we have to be telling that to people. That's the whole core of the equation is eat less, move more. And the unfortunate part about that, my grandmother used to say there are always at least, at least two sides of the story, usually three, is that that is only a part of the story. And I think probably that was this person's point, because the counter argument to that is that, well, these physicians, you know, and providers are not looking at the whole picture and not looking at all the other aspects. And it's, it's very limiting to just give people that recommendation. But I would encourage you to not fall prey to the, the dogma or the, the it's only this truth or only that truth um, to weight loss. Boy, are there a lot of components to weight loss and you guys know it. So um, so let's, let me show this to you. And this was a 68 week trial, blinded uh, with a placebo controlled group. But I want you to look at what the whole, all of them did. All of them did 1,000 to 1,200 calories provided by Nutrisystem, which I thought was surprising, but very interesting. They started them out at 100 minutes a week of exercise and ramped them up to 200 minutes a week of exercise. That's over three hours of exercise, guys, a week. That's a lot of time. And uh, they got, over a 68-week period, 30 what they called intensive visits with a registered dietitian. Intensive, That's you're not getting that uh, even with, you know, most paying uh, weight loss services. So that's a lot of counseling time, a lot of feedback, a lot of, you know, encouragement. So keep in mind, this is almost like the ideal, right, scenario. And, um, and they randomized them two to one. Uh, and so there were more people in the uh, group that got semaglutide. And I'll show this. This is kind of like what's called the visual abstract. So, um, so here's the semaglutide group, and there are about 407 people in that group, and about 204 in the placebo group. And you can see that the semaglutide group, 16%, they came down 16% uh, mean weight change from their baseline, versus about 5.7% mean decrease from their baseline in the placebo group. That's a huge change. That's like, so three times as much. Um, with, uh, and again, with all of them doing all of this work. Um, and then if you see this, you'll see that this kind of shows it much better in a graph form. So this is the placebo arm and the semaglutide group came down really much further in their weight loss. Um, the primary side effect was nausea because semaglutide, in addition to working 
in the brain centers to decrease appetite. It also slows gastric emptying. So, so one of the primary side effects is nausea. Um, a few more people in the semaglutide group had some gallstone issues. And most of the nausea kind of peaked uh, around week 25 and then kind of improved. So the longer you're on it, your body starts to kind of get used to it. Plus you eat less. Um, because you have slower gastric emptying. So um, what you may have been trying to eat prior, you get that, that natural feedback of feeling almost you know, upset to your stomach, and then you eat less, and that's not as bad. So, so this is a very interesting trial. It's a wonderful medication option. But keep in mind that, again, look at how hard these people were working. And you know this. You know how hard it is. Um, but uh, that's, uh, that w those are the behavioral interventions that they did at the same time. So uh, as, as you go forward, always remember, this is all a lifestyle change. Pick something, pick a strategy that you can maintain. And that when you get to your goal, that you can just go back to ever so slightly up a little bit on your intake just to maintain. You're never going to go back to the behaviors that got you, you know, uh, the problems in the first place. And I've seen so many people who over the past year, 2020 and coronavirus um, time have been gaining, have gained weight because of being in the house, being stressed or bored or not going out. And um, so I'd encourage you. Make sure that you really look at your behaviors every day. It's kind of like learning a new instrument, you know. Um, for any of you who have been, you know, want to be mus musicians in the past, if you try to pick up a new instrument, you have to practice a lot, and you don't sound very good at first. So same thing with trying to lose weight. It takes a lot of effort, and you don't see often a lot of the the outcome until it's kind of like a year later, and then you look back and you say, wow, I lost, like, 40 pounds over the past year and then you know you look at pictures of yourself and you think that's wonderful so um so keep up the keep up the good work keep looking at this is a behavioral change slow steady behavioral change and this i think is a wonderful option um and i will have to watch for when the fda uh, comes out with approval of this um for for clinical use okay so very good you guys are doing great Thank you.